Welcome to one minute series of shell and tube exchangers. Is it possible to design, check, or simulate shell and tube exchangers in one minute? Surely it is. OSPEN Exchanger and Design Writing Program, EDR, is widely used to design, check, or simulate shell and tube exchangers in the oil and gas industry. It is extremely powerful. However, being powerful also means being complicated. A user-friendly program was written by Guofu Chen to guide process engineers to design, check, or simulate shell and tube exchangers just in one minute. EDR program takes the input from the Excel interface, runs the thermal engine, and returns the results back to Excel. This tool has three different operating modes, design, check, and simulate. Design means sizing a heat exchangers from scratch with process requirement and minimal geometry information. In design mode, engineers normally specify the tube diameter, thickness, tube pitch, and tube pattern. Checking mode is used to check if the geometries can meet the process requirement. It answers if the heat exchanger is undersized or oversized and by how much. Simulation mode is used to answer the shell side and the tube side outlet temperatures. Both checking mode and simulation mode needs to fully define the heat exchanger geometries. Let's take a closer look at the tool. The first case is to design the heat exchangers from scratch. We first define these heat exchangers should be an EN type with low fin tube and a double segment baffles. Then we input the process information such as the mass flow, pressure, temperature, pressure drop, and so on. Finally, we specify what kind of tubes and arrangement we will be using. Let's run the program. But you can see the design is oversized by 23%. Why? Because in the program we specify the minimal excess air surface area should be 20%. Once we are satisfied with the design, we are going to check if these exchangers can satisfy the process requirement. As you can see, we fully specify the process requirement and the exchangers geometries in the checking mode. As you can see, it says the heat exchanger is oversized by 22%, which is very close to 23% in the design mode. You might ask, these geometries can definitely meet the process requirement since we have about 22% margin, but how likely this heat exchanger is going to perform in the real life? Good question. This leads us to the simulation mode. You might notice in this simulation mode, the outlet temperature is not specified in the simulation mode. The tube side temperature is changed to 172.1 Fahrenheit instead of 173.5. The heat exchanger duty is changed to 162 million BTU per hour instead of 159 BTU per hour. And the surface area now is 0%. With this tool, do you think you can design, check, or simulate sharing tube exchangers just in one minute? You surely can. 
Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guo Fu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.